Sugisawa village is a Japanese urban legend about a village that was supposedly erased from the map after a terrible massacre occurred there. Many people in Japan have tried to track down the village, but as yet nobody has been able to find it. According to the legend, there was once a small village called Sugisawa village in the mountain of Aomori prefecture in Japan. Many years ago, a man who lived in the village suddenly went mad and killed all the other villagers with an axe before committed suicide. After the massacre, Sugisawa village was abandoned and it was erased from all official maps of the area. They say that the ruins of the village are haunted by evil spirits and anyone who visits the area will never come back. There is supposedly a sign on the road leading to the village that reads, There is no guarantee that those who enter here will remain alive. There is an old tree gate at the entrance of the village, and at the base of it, there is a stone that looks like a skull. It has ever been said that people who wander close to the site of Sugisawa village will hear the distant sound of talking and laughter, as if there is a festival going on. The talking and laughter will slowly change into screams of terror. If you keep listening, after a while, the screaming stops and it returns to talking and laughter. Ruined houses in the village are covered in blood stains that tell the story of the tragic incident that occurred there. The legend of Sugisawa village has become very popular in Japan and many fans of the occult have tried to find the area as a test of courage. However, Nobody has ever been able to track down the exact location of the village. This urban legend is probably based on a real incident that actually happened in Japan in 1938 called the Tsuyama Massacre. There was a young man named Mutsuo Toi who lived in a village called Kamo. One night, he went crazy and murdered many of his fellow villagers. He killed his grandmother and chopped off her head with an axe. Then he cut electricity lines, plunging the whole village into darkness. Under cover of night, he went through the village, sneaking into the people's homes and killed them with a shotgun and Japanese sword. He killed 30 people in total, which was almost half the population of the village. In the end, he turned the shotgun on himself and committed suicide. It was one of the worst massacres in modern history.